little videos about my trade setup for Coco uh, or the Coco ETN called NIB NIB and Jeff Kennedy at Elliott Wave International has pointed out the large uh, very high scale Wave 5 uh, that completed uh, a few uh, weeks ago and also the head and shoulders pattern that has taken place in the, in the Coco ETN and what I'm doing is I'm looking for a setup next week of a wave two which will if correct provide a setup to enter at the earliest stage possible the third of a third wave which is almost always uh, the fastest and most uh, broadly traveled wave so it should be a good trade setup I'm looking eventually for Coco to get down to about 30 or so from my initial estimates before there's any significant retracements so this could be a pretty good trade and what I've done here is I'm projecting the end of this little wave 5. You can see from the higher degree wave 2, we had a 1, 2, 3, 4, and a fifth wave underway, which should complete a pattern, which will then retrace in some kind of ABC pattern back up to around 4487 of the level of the uh, uh, prior fourth wave. Uh, but the important thing is that I'm looking for this wave to complete around 40.97, 41.77. Uh, both prices I obtained from the Fibonacci program. I uh, did a parallel projection of the distance traveled from the beginning of wave one to the end of wave three and projected it from this wave four. And traditionally, or very often, the travel of the fifth wave will be about 68 percent of the travel from point zero to the bottom of point three and I also did an external retracement of wave four and that was 127 percent and that was the 4097 projection so I'm looking for this little fifth wave to end around this area uh, early next week uh, but the important thing is the ABC retracement pattern and once this little fifth wave completes, I'll be able to do some price and time projections uh, for the likely end of wave two, and then we'll get closer to a setup. I'll follow up on this uh, early next week uh, if this goes as anticipated, and we'll see what kind of information we can draw from the uh, price charts.